here is Pedro. Amen. Welcome. We uh, love to have you. And let's start off by asking, who are you? Please talk a little bit about yourself and your, the direction you want to head with Builder All. Sure. Thank you so much for that intro. Um, I'll start with um, I'll start with myself. I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. I've been building in the digital space since 1999. Um, you know, one of the things. So, you know, some a couple of people have asked me. You know, why did you choose to come on as the new CEO of Builderall? And to be honest, the vision of transforming the world through entrepreneurship um, really resonates with me. It's it's what I've been doing um, for the last I would say about eight years. Um, I've run an accelerator program for the last few years where our whole focus was how do we help entrepreneurs launch and grow, uh, in particular startups. And what you guys have at Builderall is an amazing sort of uh, almost like a, a, a leapfrog onto what we were doing, right? We were helping maybe 100 or 150 entrepreneurs at a time, and you're able to help tens of thousands of entrepreneurs at a time. So the vision really sits well with me. I love what Builderall's built. Um, actually, the plan is to maintain and continue that vision of transforming the world through entrepreneurship, obviously using digital marketing as the tool to get there. So our focus is, you know, very much around people. We want our team to be secure. We want to um, look at what our users are saying and bring that user focus into all the products we develop. Um, and that's that's a little bit about where I'm coming from. Yeah, absolutely. So again. I don't think we're changing any any major vision on Builderall, right? What we are doing is honing in to people a, a little bit. I think we've built a lot of amazing tools and a lot of great products over the last you know six to eight years. Um, now I want to start to listen to what our users are saying they want to see from those tools. So how do we make Mailing Boss, you know, the next level mailer? How do we make Cheetah or or, or Builderall Builder? the next level builder tool when you're coming to build a website or landing pages. Um, I didn't mention, I didn't talk about this earlier, but um, obviously I'm coming aboard as this new CEO. The company was acquired. Um, the acquirer was an organization named Cloud Builder. It's run by someone named Chris Kurzweig. I've worked with Chris for over 20 years. Um, we worked together since 2001 and we've actually done this before. So he, he took over a company. We worked together to kind of, um, turn it around, not that it was in a bad place, but just making it healthier, making it more user focused, making it um, more stable from a cash flow position. And I think that's what we're looking to do here, right? We know we've got a, an amazing base. We've got an amazing platform. How do we now uh, turn the focus just a little bit more towards what our users are saying and continuing to deliver what they're asking for while also creating an organization that continues to grow um, and opens up more opportunities for our partners, uh, which we value as well. Um, and again, as our focus on, on, on people, um, I'm here to listen. I'm here to make sure that if, if you've got concerns as a user or a partner, um, those, those concerns are being heard and they're being addressed. And, um, and it's, it's really you know, kind of par for the course and what we've done in the past. I see Builderall as having three pillars to what makes us uh, a successful platform for our users. The first is, of course, our suite of tools, and we are going to continue to improve those and and make them better for our users. Um, I'll jump to the third one because the third one I feel is community, um, and that's really our ability to jump into these groups, our ability to connect with other entrepreneurs on the platform, and then to address your question directly. Our second platform, our pillar, is essentially our training and our education, and so we want to actually make that more a uh, more integrated part of builder all we want to make it a stronger um, component to our offering so every time you're looking to build something you're going to have a resource at your fingertips that explains not only how to use it but also like what are best practices what are the what are the the top marketers the top business people in the space um, doing strategically and then how do you use these tools to, to copy that so absolutely i see it as a core pillar for builder all and where we're looking to, to go and how we can support our users more. Um, so I do see training as becoming even more integral. Well, I'll address that the original plan from what I saw on Builderall 6.0 was to add several key tools into our platform. And we still wanna make that happen. That's still part of the roadmap. However, I did kind of pause our development of these two um, new tools, which I know people 
are very excited about. It's it's a chat product um, that integrates directly with social media. It's it's very cool. It's exciting. It is coming up. It hasn't. We haven't stopped on that. But we are prioritizing um, some of the user feedback we've seen come through. Um, so a little bit on the, the usability of some of the products, a little bit on the stability of some of the products, and a little bit on, on the effectiveness of some of the products. So we are taking all of the user feedback. And, and I want you to know if you're listening to this or you're, or you're watching this, um, we do watch all the comments that come in. We do look at every single message that comes through and we, and we look at it and we consider it as we're looking at our roadmap. So Builder All 6.0, we're calling it like the user, um, the user release, right? This one is, is the one that's designed to whether you're a first time user in Builder All or whether you're a power user. Um, and we've got actually great, you know, Shelly as a power user has been providing amazing feedback that look, if we do this, the power users are going to be frustrated. And then we've got, you know, first time users who are getting in there and looking at the product and saying, you know, I don't understand this as someone who's never plugged in before. So we're creating a, a, a set of tools that adjusts based on the life cycle of the user. And the new platform is going to be way more intuitive. It's going to be faster to, to navigate. It's going to be easier to use and it's going to be more effective. And that's our focus for 6.0. And then the new tools will come after that. I'm really excited about our affiliate network. Just a little bit of background. So I actually started as an affiliate back in 1998, um, 98, 99, 2000. That was my, I was able to do what, you know, hopefully a lot of you have done or are looking to do, which is um, quit my job, work from home and just generate passive income, you know, while still working to promote programs. Um, it was absolutely incredible. I loved it. I want to, you know, as an affiliate in the past, I understand the frustrations of, of being an affiliate. Um, and then also as a CEO, I understand the need to balance the needs of the company um, while still creating a, a profitable program for our affiliates. So I'm excited that we've got so much passion in this group. I'm excited about the number of people in this group. Um, you know, the one change that I think we're, we're going to make is we want to be able to reward those affiliates that are actively promoting us even more. In the past, we've had a program with plaques. In the past, we've done events. We want to be able to bring those things back. And if you're an active affiliate and you're working every month to promote Builderall, we want to be able to start to release um, rewards and things like that. They're going to make it uh, even more exciting. So stay on the lookout for that. Um, obviously, continue promoting us. And then, you know, feedback. We love to get feedback. Um, again, we see all the messages. I, I may not personally get a chance to reply to every single message. But as long as I'm seeing them or, or the team is, is kind of bubbling them up to us, we can start to make changes. Um, you know, I can't say there won't be changes to the program at all, right? But what I will say is our commitment is to having a healthy organization that can continue to support our affiliates and continue to support our users and continue to support our team. And any changes we make will be completely focused on, on that, on, on the whole. So it's respecting the affiliates that, you know, we've used and have worked with us to date, um, creating a better program for them while also creating a healthier builder all, which can continue to deliver quality products to our users. I, I want to work to build, I know we've got like leadership groups and we've got things like that. I do want to work to to kind of take that into the next step, build a new like affiliate round table group that I can connect with directly and hear feedback and thoughts. So if you want to be part of that, um, somebody listening to this, whether you're in the existing groups or, or you're looking to get into this new group, um, again, not cutting anybody out, but just making sure we're talking to the right people in this group. Feel free to let us know um, because we do want to be able to have that back and forth conversation where you know what we're doing, we're communicating, we're able to ask questions and any changes we do make are actually going to be filtered through this group so that we've got a good sense of how affiliates feel about it. But, so back in the day, if, if, um, if, if we've got older affiliates here that remember, I don't know how active they are today, Commission Junction. Um, I was on the homepage of Commission Junction, which back in you know the early 2000s was one of the largest uh, affiliate platforms. So if you were around back then and you, you were part of Commission Junction, you would have seen my face on the homepage of Commission Junction like this. Okay. That was the picture. That's a pretty big deal. That's <laughs> awesome. You know, I, my, my vision is that Builderall becomes one of the top three um, global digital marketing platforms uh, that we have best in class tools and that we're working with hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs, both uh, as in our communities and in our tools to help them build the businesses that they've always dreamed about. That's, that's my vision. How do we help create that?
we're here to listen. You know, I'm very excited of what, what has been built, what we've built. I say we, but really it's Alvaro, Shelley, obviously, I mean, whoever knows Alvaro's dad, Eric was the original founder of Builderall. Um, what's been built here is great. It's an absolutely incredible foundation. It's one of the reasons why I was excited to jump in. I think um, there's so much opportunity to, to build this thing into, as I said, a top three you know, global platform. Um, and I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I want to hear all the feedback, uh, whether you're angry, whether you're happy. Um, certainly, if you're ambivalent, I want to hear it. Um, let me know what we can do, what we're missing. And, uh, and then hopefully Shelly's got some questions from, from the audience. A little background on this. I was a director of user experience uh, at a company back in 2006. We ended up selling to Google. Um, so I've been part of this UX world for, for a long time. Um, I think it's absolutely one of the most critical elements of, of, of a tool being effective, because if you can't figure out how to use it, you're probably not going to be able to use it well. So we're bringing a, a consistent UI across all the tools. And as, as, as the two here know, um, part of that process was like kind of breaking down all the, all the preconceptions of, of our tools and, and getting to rethink them from the ground up implementing our entire design team, our entire development team to, to reimagine what is the right experience here, both again, for a first time user and from a power user. So our entire UI is getting reworked. We want everything to be within, you know, a couple of clicks from wherever you are. We want you to be able to switch between tools very easily. We want you to be able to understand actually the benefit of the tool, right? Why you should be using it and what are the, the KPIs or the, the, the metrics you should be looking to drive from it. Um, and then of course, looking to integrate any type of training or strategic instruction or coaching into the platform so that not only can you get in there and figure out how to use it, you can also access some resources, which I think is also part of the experience, right? Understanding how to use a tool is just as important as being able to use a tool from a, a UI perspective. So all that's being torn down. We're still putting it back together, which is uh, as Shelly said, like, you know, we're not able to share anything just yet but we are seeing some very early prototypes internally. Um, we're not rushing this project. We're making sure it happens the right way, um, but we are targeting, I would say like, um, I'm gonna say like a March, April release where you know, all the tools will have, um, or at least our primary, you know, most popular tools will have a completely new UI that will be intuitive. It'll be readily discoverable. You can get in there with no background and figure it out. And if you've been using it all this time, it should still feel like, you know, second nature to, to use it, just uh, be faster and more effective. So we're building comprehensive roadmaps for all of our tools. Um, the idea is we should be able to tell you by the end of this process, which again, will still be around that March, April timeframe. We should be able to tell you, hey, here's all the new things that are coming out in the next six to nine to 12 months, right? For each individual tool. And then of course we can rearrange and reorder the priorities based on what requests we see coming in. So I, I, I will mention, this might come back to, this might come back as, as a bad thing to say, but you know, if something is particularly important to you, like keep bringing it up to us, right? That's the way to get it moved up the timeline of, of the roadmaps that each tool is going to have. If it's really important, if it bothers you, if it's just frustrating you, or of course, if you've got to switch to another tool to do something and then you come back, I want to know what those things are so we can properly prioritize the roadmap. As, as I said earlier, one of my big focuses is, is being user focused and people focused. And so when we define a roadmap, it's not fixed. It can change based on what we're seeing um, our users asking for and that those user requests are, are prioritized. One thing I mentioned earlier is we want to reward active affiliates. Um, what we are going to, the only thing we've got planned right now for affiliates is creating an inactive affiliate tier. Um, and, and we're going to release some details on that, I think, today. Uh, um, I don't have that information in front of me, but we are going to release it today. It, it's If you're an active affiliate and you've been bringing customers you know, regularly, this is not going to impact you. It won't impact any of our affiliates that are driving customers today or even like within the last few months. Um, it's really all designed to... Um, free up a little bit of those affiliate commission dollars so that, as I said, we can reward uh, our, our active affiliates even, even further. So that is the only change on the affiliate side. On the packaging side, 
VA6. It's been it's been said a few times, even before I got here, that Builderall 6.0 release may have a price change uh, attached to it. Um, there is nothing definitive yet. If there was, I would say it now, um, but we're not quite sure what that is yet, if anything, but we are sort of working it out. Obviously, as you know, an organization like yours has, or like ours has uh, a lot of employees. It has a lot of support staff and we wanna be able to continue to, to support that team. Um, so if there is a price increase, it, it will be you know, nominal, um, but it, it, will, it will come out when 6.0 is released. Yeah, absolutely. So I actually see agencies as a big part of Builderall moving forward. We want to create an agency specific plan that maybe includes some additional features and makes it even more useful for, for agencies. Um, I know it seems like I'm just making this stuff up because I say it every time, but I, I also owned uh, a digital marketing agency for the last 20 years. Um, I still do actually, although we don't do a whole lot with it. I have a team that runs it. Um, so I know the, the plight of an agency owner. Um, I, I know it's a, it's a very fast paced, you know, high churn, you deal with a lot of customers. We want to make that better. If you are an agency owner and you've been using Builderall and, you know, I actually, I may actually set up, just like I said, with affiliates, like an affiliate round table, I may actually set up an agency round table where again, there's a small group of users that represent that audience and, you know, happy to connect directly. Let's talk about what you need. Let's talk about where we're doing a great job. Let's talk about where we might not be doing a great job. Um, and let's work to make that better as well. So we do want to have an agency package specific for agencies that actually provides an even better level of support uh, and product for them. Yeah, we actually have a whole task force that's working on the onboarding experience. Um, these, are, these are real softballs, Shelly. I think you're just kind of, you're teeing these up for me. Uh, we do have a whole task force that's designed to think through the onboarding experience and they're, you know, they're going through, you know, as you get in, what's the first thing you see right after you get right after you, you sign up, right? What does the dashboard look like when you have no content in there? When you start actually launching, you know, your first landing page or you've got your first email list, what does the dashboard look like then? What analytics are we showing you? Uh, what videos are we, are we bubbling up to the top? So, that is in the works. I think that task force is probably going to exist for a long time and they're going to continue iterating on that onboarding experience, but we are taking it very seriously. Just like any SaaS company, uh, we have you know over 50% of our users who start on day one don't make it through the, to the second month, right? And, and that's very serious for us. We, we want to change that number. We're watching it all the time. As we start to release these new updates, if you're not getting that experience and you end up leaving, uh, it's going to trigger for us. Okay, what happened to that person? What didn't they see? What were they looking for? How could have we made that experience better? Um, so it exists. It's in progress. Uh, I think people are going to start to see things uh, come out even before Builderall 6.0 that impact that, that experience. Um, but again, it, we don't want to rush anything. We want to make sure it's well thought out. We want to make sure we've got feedback uh, before we push it out there. This company is largely... Um, started in brazil you know powered from brazil uh we have no no plan to to change any of that focus we see that you i mean we've got actually large segments of audience in in brazil in portuguese in the us and in english and across um lots of latin america in spanish as well um there are a couple of so we one of the things i did initially was run a pnl across all of our languages right because it does take it does take resources to, to power the, the, the platform in different languages. And I just got that information back last week. The nice thing is we're positive across the board. Um, there may be a couple of languages that we're supporting today that have like less than 50 users, which we may decide to, to support a little bit less in the future, but it's none of our primary, uh, none of our primary uh, languages. Um, we support now, I don't know, Alvaro, if you know how many it is, it looked like, I don't know, 15 different languages. It's about lot, 20. About 20. So mm -hmm. we might bring that number down to like 18, right? Over the course of the next year with the, the countries that um, that maybe don't have a lot of users. But uh, in general, you know, I think what we're doing is actually making it stronger because we're making a more consistent message across all, uh, you know, builder all global, right? In, in Brazil and in Latin America and here in the States and in Europe, we're going to have a more consistent message, more consistent set of promotions so that all the users are looked at uh, and treated uh, the same way. I think it's the natural progression 
Um, mm. There's a lot of really exciting AI tools. In the back end, actually, Alvaro was was leading sort of the integration of AI into, into our back end processes, which is uh, essentially going to, to now start to flow out to the users. We're still a ways away from that though. I'm not gonna say, you're not gonna see an AI integration in Builderall 6.0 in two months, um, but I think by the end of the year, it'll be on our roadmap and you'll start to see some, some uh, additions in there. I think in some cases, um, I don't think it's across the board. We're not looking to raise, raise everybody's prices, right? If you're in Builderall today and you've been a customer for, for three years, you should be rewarded for that loyalty and we want to maintain that. Um, there are a couple of instances where um, it may actually be hurting us. Um, I don't think that's the majority of customers. I think it's a very small percentage where maybe like they're using a lot more resources than, than they're paying for. And what that does is it, it threatens the health of the company. And I think in those very select instances, we may need to reach out to those users and inform them, you know, hey, we either need to, to you know, to make some kind of change or um, give them an alternative where maybe there's like a use limitation. You know, hey, you've got this huge mailing list. If you reduce the size, you can keep the same pricing. Otherwise, we are going to have to bump it up. So again, we have to make sure the company is healthy, right? And if the company's bleeding money, that doesn't help our affiliates. It doesn't help us, nor does it help our users, right? We need to be in a good place so that we can continue to provide great, amazing tools so we can continue to provide good service and actually improve our service. One of the things we're changing um, in February is we are going to a longer uh, support time schedule. So right now, if, if you were trying to reach support, it has to be between nine and five. Um, we're changing that to from nine to 10. And then we're also opening up some weekend hours so that you don't have to wait as long for a support request. And again, those things cost money. We wanna be able to, to, to provide those things. Uh, so there may be some changes in the future, but I will say it's gonna be done thoughtfully. It's gonna be done um, through communication and it's not gonna be widespread. You know, hey, we're changing the price by 20% for everybody. That, that would be irresponsible. I think it'd be a little bit silly. Um, and that's not how, how you know, we reward our long-term customers. Yeah, absolutely. There will also be like a voting feature where if you see somebody else has already submitted a, a similar suggestion, you can vote that up. Um, we are going to implement that. Probably actually Shelly is going to be um, monitoring that because she's going to be taking more of, a, of an even deeper lead <clears throat> on the product side. Um, so yeah, we are going to see that. You are going to be able to vote. Um, and then you will be able to connect that to a, a public roadmap and see, okay, this item is set to be you know completed in June or something like that. My email is, is open. You guys can share my email. Um, it's just pedro at builderall.com. Pretty easy. P-E-D-R-O at builderall.com. Um, I love to hear feedback. I love to hear thoughts. If you, you know, once we, we create, we launch this platform, we can start to collect this feedback and really kind of bubble it up and, and vote on it. Um, we will certainly make you aware. In the meantime, you know, we're, we're all sort of collecting it and considering it as we build these new tools. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see where we're going to go. And don't forget to build something amazing in Builderall. Bye, you guys. Have a great week. Bye. Bye-bye.